Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> okay, so I'm just like putting my concealer on, doing my makeup. And um, this is the challenge, the 2023 year, new you, <laughs> new year, new you um, challenge where we're um, working on our mind, body, and spirit. And we're becoming a better person this year. This is the year of no excuses, no more excuses. So right now I'm taking care of my vessel, becoming a fierce warrior, putting on my war paint for the day. And um, this morning I was just like contemplating and getting download messages from spirit about some of the things that I'll be doing and working on with you guys throughout this challenge and um, I'm just so God wants you to know that he's so proud of you and I'm so proud of you for taking on this challenge with me and doing what you can to be better every single day is going to bring you abundance and in your life um it's like manifesting your dreams and God and the universe is going to be behind you in it. So you're not just doing it selfishly for yourself, but when you take care of your heart and soul and body, you are able to serve others in a way that you have no idea. And so you are being blessed with abundance from spirit because you're following this advice you're following his word um this is for all humanity for it's not you being selfish about yourself and working on yourself is benefiting all of humanity so it is not a selfless act to look your best feel your best and work within is the the greatest education the greatest investment that you you can possibly make for your family for your business for your for your prosperity for life in general like your whole life is going to evolve and change and grow over your lifetime the only thing that changes is your brain what you think every day and if you do new tasks and grow and elevate your mind your body and your spirit every day you're just going to get there quicker you're going to surpass everybody because you're you're on a different wavelength you're on a different mission you're on a different purpose you're on you're on the fast track with god this is the fast track with god so I'm so excited that you're here with me and you're doing this and I just wanted to welcome you to your day one or day two. I filmed yesterday, but yesterday was kind of like a realization day. It was like you're starting this thing. And you're gonna have to change. You you can't do the things that you did before. You have to like like wake up, like like be like, okay, this is serious. This is really serious, and we have to do this. You're not playing around anymore. You're God is watching you. Everybody around you watches you every day. This isn't something different. This is something like, it's time to live your life now. You have to live in the now. So every single decision that you make is important. What you do every day, what you wear, what you say, 
how you act in front of other people, even by yourself. It's, it's all about integrity, morals, love, and your goals and your guidance from your intuition, what feels good to you, what motivates you, what inspires you, what drives you to go forward. When you, when you do your best, you can always do better. So that's where you're going. You're, you're on like this stair step, this ladder of elevation. So when you put off the things, you don't, you're not stepping forward. You're just staying in the same place. If you don't make different changes, if you don't better yourself every day. So the things that you eat, the things that you consume in your mouth, in your body, you need to be aware of and put the best things in your body. And if it doesn't taste good, you're going to want to research what tastes better than this because this isn't working, you know? But you challenge yourself like, okay, I'm going to do a cleanse. I'm going to only eat fruits and vegetables for the next three days and see how it works. See, push yourself to limits that you're uncomfortable with and do it. Like literally train your brain to think that this is, you literally cannot eat anything other than fruits and vegetables. Like it's completely off limits and you're going to disappoint God. You're going to disappoint all of humanity if you eat something other than fruits, fruits and vegetables. So I'm hearing that is the number one challenge for day one. We're going to eat only fruits and vegetables for the first three days and drink more water. Um, and this is going to cleanse our system. So your bathroom habits might change. You might, um, you know, things will be changing in the digestive system because it's cleansing out your body. It's doing like a, um, a restart, a cleansing purification process. So if after the three days you want to go longer, you want to go for a week, that's fine. But we d I believe we don't want to go more than 10 days doing that because that this is just a flush and a cleanse. Um, there's other products that you can have that are cleanses, um, but it's best to be all natural if you can. And don't think about like, um, this is going to cost too much money or whatever. It's like, Fruits and vegetables don't cost as much as like other things. So you have to have a mind frame of abundance. Like there's, I have plenty of money. I have plenty of love. I have plenty of time. I have plenty of everything. Like I will... God will give me the things that I need. Of course, be practical and don't like, but you might have to like budget and move thing. you know, like spend less on other things. And like, you know, you have to reorganize your life. You have to start somewhere. So we're do, we have to do a, an evaluation and a body assessment. So we have to do our measurements of our body, your waist, <laughs> your waist size around your, um, where your belly button is and your chest. You can do your neck and your thighs, like one, you know, one of your thighs. You can even do your, do your arms right here. And, um, this is going to motivate you 
because we're gonna do an assessment at the end of 30 days, and then another one at 60 days, and another one at 90 days. So you won't be, you don't need to step on a scale until the assessment. Um, just step on the scale in the beginning. You do a beginning assessment. So you're doing your weight and your measurements and also catalog, like how do you feel at this moment? Like what are your problem areas? Like, are you getting enough sleep? How do you, how does your body feel? Do you have body aches? Do you have problems with your digestion or going to the bathroom? Do you have um, health problems? Do an evaluation of that. Just write down what, what things you're concerned about and what things you wish would go away at the end of 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. And so you're not going to, you're just going to focus on the things that you're doing every day, like drinking more water, exercising every day, putting fruits and vegetables into your body only. Um, if you have stomach issues where you can't eat just fruits and vegetables, um, of course, like, don't follow this instruction. Like, if this is seriously going to hurt you in any way, um, you know, and don't have things that you're allergic to. It's obvious. <laughs> but you can also incorporate some, um, I'm getting like grains and nuts. So like almonds, I'm hearing cashews, pistachios, like stuff like that. Um, I think peanuts are kind of like oily and not that good for you somewhat. So try to limit those. Um, and I'm also hearing like oatmeal, like that can be an alternative if you really need that substance and you can't just do fruits and vegetables that that is and stay away from all dairy products so you're not adding milk to your oatmeal or anything like that there's water that you can use to with your oatmeal and you're staying completely away from sugar the sugar that you're gonna get is from fruit so if you need to add fruit to your oatmeal, that's the sugar and the flavor that you're going to get in your oatmeal. Um, so you can make soups, you can make um, acai bowls, you can make um, salads, um, fruit bowls like mixed fruit, you can do um, purees, you can do um, sorbets, you can freeze them, you can um, like blend it and freeze them, you can do all kinds of things. So I'm going to help you and motivate you because I'm doing this with you. And, um, you know, if, if you find this later on or have to come back to it, um, I'm just like so proud of you for starting this and doing this with me and I'm just like ready to take on this task and get started. So remember to love yourself every day. Like when you look in the mirror every morning, wake up with a positive attitude first of all and motivate yourself with like, yes, I'm so excited to do this. I can't wait for the end result. I can't re wait to, to be the best version of myself. And today is the first day of doing that, right? So it's like exciting. It's like, that's how you're motivating yourself. You're thinking of the positive things at the end. And there is no end because once you get to the end, you're going to do more. You're going to want to do more because it feels so good to grow. When you lead your life with love and growth, you're happy. 
So that's the point of all of this is like, and you're challenging yourself when you're taking care of your body, getting fit, getting healthy. You're not only protecting your body from harm, you're live, you're going to live a healthier life, a better life, a, a more happy, fulfilling life. Things are going to come to you in an abundance, like love and prosperity and, and business ventures and, you know, adventures. You can be, you can do more things with your life when you are at a healthy weight and healthy lifestyle. So it's like everything is better, right? So yeah, so I'll give you more advice next time we talk and yeah, just work on that. Like the water, the fruits and vegetables. And oh yeah, I was going to say like love yourself, like dress the way that you want to that empowers you like when you're buying clothes or when you need things and you're buying clothes or if you want to buy something new, have it be something that makes you feel good. So it's not like, don't be so practical all the time. Do something from your heart that you love that's going to make you feel good. Like in the winter time, like I'm, it, I have a hard time getting motivated when I'm cold. So it's like, I love like warm, fuzzy things. And so when I can put warm, fuzzy things on, it makes me feel good and comforted and loved and like happy and luxurious because it's furry and like, it's not expensive. It just like makes me feel warm and comfortable and good and like a hug, you know? So that's what it's all about. It's like feeding your spirit and soul and what will make you feel motivated to do the things that you need to do that day. Like it depends on your job. It depends on what you're doing that day. Um, you know, what your normal schedule is of like what you wear and what you can get away with and what, you know, all that. So you have to think of like, maybe it's like a little lapel pin or something like on if you're wearing a suit and tie or something or your tie, you know, it's like, Buy ties that you love. Don't care about what other people think, like the colors, the style, whatever. Do something for yourself that will make you happy. When you look in the mirror, when you're going about your day, you're like, this is me. Like, this is who I am. This lapel pin or something, like, matches my personality. This, these earrings, this makeup, this whatever it is, this hairstyle, this jewelry, ring, bracelet, anything. And I have merchandise on my website if you want to go look at that at earthhealermovement.com and there's a description link down below. So yeah, so let's get started. Let's do this and you know, take before and after pictures. We're going to take before pictures right now. That's the other thing I forgot. So drink water, eat fruits and vegetables for the next three days at least. Um, if you have to go to the store and buy them first, like then your next day is going to, it's going to start when you start, you know, your three days and don't put it off. Like go to the store and buy the stuff. So you have it. I'm going to probably be making a video on that because I don't have all the things yet. Well, I have some, so I'm, I still can do it right now, but, um, but yeah, so I'm going to be sending out videos to help motivate, inspire, and give prophetic channeled messages from spirit about, you know, the things that we need to do to better ourselves. So, um, please share this with a friend or everybody and, um, watch the intro video to this movement, this challenge, the 2023 new year, new you challenge for mind, body, and spirit, health and wellness, and, um, get fit together. 
like have somebody there that's going to hold you accountable. That's the word that I was trying to think of in the last video. Somebody that will hold you accountable to your actions. So when you do it with somebody else, it's more fun and motivating. That's why I'm here with you doing it with you. But also they're holding you accountable so you, you don't give up and you don't quit and you feel you have somebody going through the same things as you that can understand what you're going through and motivate you and inspire you. Um, and that's what I'm here to do. So that's why I'm going to give you messages throughout the process to keep you going, keep you going. And it's like to build a habit, it takes like... Um, like three weeks to build a habit. So the first 30 days is critical to, to your progress. And, you know, you have to get through those first three weeks, those first 30 days of, that's why it's better to just go like all in, like do like a whole bunch of things all at once, like drink more water, exercise, eat fruits and vegetables, um, and then the assessment is really important to weigh yourself, take your measurements and, um, weigh yourself. Did I say that? Yeah. Weigh yourself, take your measurements and take your pictures of beef, you know, your before pictures so you can see the, the results, see the difference. And even if you're not, and it doesn't matter the weight on the scale, you're not going to be weighing yourself every day. You're going to wait until the 30 days are up to reevaluate and assess your progress. So don't give up. Like you're, and the thing is, is not about losing weight or gaining weight. It's about how you feel. So don't forget to write your, how you feel about yourself right now and the things that you want to fix, like your sleep habits, your health, your, the things that aches and pains or the things that you're concerned about with your health that you want to fix and make sure you write those down and reassess those at the end of this as well. So I'm just hearing now about like diabetics and fruit, the causes and effects. I don't really know about all that. So if you are in that you know what's best to you. I'm sure like if you're a diabetic, you know about what you need to eat that's healthy for you and what you need to stay away from. And so you need to just go from your gut instincts about that and what's healthy for you and anybody else out there that has health restrictions and all of that, like really listen to your best advice from, from your intuition of like how you can be healthier. So let's say you have diet sodas all the time. You're going to you're going to stop having diet sodas. If it's extremely difficult, if things are extremely difficult and you have a habit that is an addiction to like sugar or sodas stuff like that, like unhealthy things like smoking um, then you need to, you can wean yourself off so you can have less and less and less over the 30 day period and you're going to get better and you're going to continue it. You're not going to stop. You're not going to go back. You're not going to revert back. So you need to be super strong and dedicated to yourself at this time. It's critical. These 30 days are critical because you're training your brain to do differently. And in order to do that, you need to do it for the complete three weeks of not having that thing. So that's why it could take 60 days to, you know, stop smoking or stop drinking diet or sugar or whatever, but go completely cold turkey <laughs> And know that, like, don't mess up. Be super strong within yourself. But if you 
literally have to, then don't feel bad about yourself. Just continue moving forward. And don't let it seep into your head that you did anything bad or wrong. It's normal to have a relapse, but you have to go forward. You have to go forward and do better because you have to know that you're training your brain to do differently. And it only knows what you've programmed it to begin with. So it's not like, it's nothing about you. <laughs> it's about this vessel and how it works. And it needs certain things to run properly and function properly. And you need to train it to be like that. So, <laughs> yeah, I can go on and on and on, obviously. But yeah, so welcome. Let's get started. Let's do this. And I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Peace.